then six or seven weeks of preparation for today, not how you planned uh, the day to go. <laughs> It's crazy. I mean, the last the weather in the last twenty four hours has, has been it's been crazy. It's been pretty much a non stop rain since two three o'clock yesterday afternoon. Um, and when I got here this morning around half eleven, the pitch was wet but playable. And with the forecast, I'm thinking this is going to be touch and go. And when it got heavier, it, it was impossible to play on. I think the right decision has been has been reached. Um, yeah, we're frustrated, Swindon frustrated, but it is what it is. We have to deal with it. We have to move on very quickly. Yeah, I mean, the thing now is deciding what work you can get into the guys in the next 24 hours to make up for not having any work to do today yeah and there's that balance we've had a we've had a good week on the training ground so we're we're doing some work now um the, the, the sports science guys george is working with the with the players now and then um, we'll stick to the schedule of tomorrow off and then we're back in monday so we're just adjust monday now whereas monday would have been a, a little bit of a lighter session uh we now go a bit harder with that and um and prep going into uh, firstly, Cardiff Wednesday, but also with an eye on Bradford on Saturday. Yeah, we spoke before, didn't we, about how many games in advance you think about things and not think about things, but when two away games are so close, Wednesday to Saturday, that travelling must be a consideration for, for everyone. Yeah, absolutely. It's not so much between now and Wednesday, that's fine. It's the quick turnaround Wednesday to Saturday next week with, you know, we're probably five hours to, to Cardiff and back and not far off that to, to Bradford. So um, we need to consider that. We, we had sort of a team in mind for, for Wednesday, depending on how we came through today. Um, but we may have to adjust that now on the, on the back of not playing today. So we'll assess that as a coaching staff over the next 24 to 48 hours and then um, put a plan in place for next week across the two games. And, uh, you know, first game of the season now away at a championship side. So, you know, still a nice way to start the season. Yeah. And another selection headache for you. Nice headache, though, in addition to the squad today as well with uh, Joe Taylor coming. Delighted to get Joe in. It's uh, it's a, a transfer we've been really patient with. He's a player that was uh, identified here when I first came in, and um, I spoke first spoke with Rob Edwards at Luton back in April, and um, that's been a continual communication across the summer and into pre-season. And uh, we've had to be patient to get the player that we want, but we've we've done that. We're absolutely delighted to have Joe here. Uh, really like his character. Uh, most importantly, really like his ability and what he's going to bring to us. So. Um, I think he gives us a nice balance in a forward area now. Very good options across the forwards that we've got. Uh, looking forward to seeing him get playing.